I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. We have an example here where we like to understand what are parallel and perpendicular lines. The question here is, the two lines with the equation r equals to 1, 2, minus 4, plus t times k plus 1, 3k plus 1, k minus 3. Assume all k's are lowercase, where t belongs to real numbers. And the other line is x equals to 2 minus 3s, y equals to 1 minus 10s, z equals to 3 minus 5s, s belongs to real numbers, are given. So these are the two lines given to you. Here we have the vector equation and here we have parametric equation. Part A of the equation is determine the value of k if these lines are parallel. Part B is determine the value of k if these lines are perpendicular. So let's find what are the direction vectors for each. So for the first line, let's write this. The direction vector is k plus 1, 3k plus 1, and then we have k minus 3. For the second line, the direction vectors are 2 minus 3s, that means minus 3, minus 10, and minus 5. So these are the two direction vectors. Now if we want them to be parallel, then what is the condition? So let's write down first for the parallel. Parallel means scalar multiple. Correct? Direction vectors should be scalar multiple. So that is to say, we can write like this, that we have first direction vector, which is k plus 1. 3k plus 1, k minus 3. So this should be scalar multiple of the other one. So we can say t times. Uh, let me use some other parameter. t has been used. So let's say p, p times. p times minus 3, minus 10, and minus 5. Okay? That is what we need to solve for. Now here, directly you get three equations. The first one is k plus 1 equals to minus 3p. Right? The second one is 3k plus 1 equals to minus 10p. Right? And the third one is k minus 3 equals to minus 5p. So these are your equations. Since we need to find the value of k, we can eliminate p using the second and the third equation. Let's multiply this by 2, right? So we get 10p here. So if I multiply this by 2, I get 2k minus 6 equals to minus 10p. Correct? So now what we are going to do? We are going to use these two equations and we want to eliminate p. So we'll take away. Right? So we'll take away. So when you take away, what do you get? 3k minus 2k is k. 1 minus 6 is plus 7 this minus becomes plus 6 right and this is 0 so that gives you k equals to minus 7 is that clear to you so we get a value of k as minus 7 so that is our answer so the first case k equals to minus 7 is our answer correct now let's do part b of this question part b is to find the value of k when the lines are perpendicular so when they are perpendicular it means what Perpendicular implies that dot product is 0. So now let's find the dot product between m1 and m2. So we have here k plus 1, 3k plus 1, and k minus 3 dot minus 3 minus 10 minus 5 should be equal to 0. So let's multiply dot product that is minus 3 times this we get minus 3k minus 3 with minus 10 you get minus 30k minus 10 with minus 5 you get minus 5k plus 15 equals to 0 right so now you can combine the terms like terms so as far as negative goes we have uh, 
uh, minus 3 minus 30 minus 33 and then this gives you minus 38 right so we get minus 38 K the numbers minus 13 combining these two and that gives you uh, so you get plus 2 right 15 when you add so you get plus 2 that is what you get so that gives you that uh, you can write 38 K equals to 2 and that gives you k equals to 2 over 38 which is 1 over 19. So the answer for the second one is k equals to 1 over 19. Is that clear? So that is how you get both these solutions. So I hope it is absolutely clear that when you have two lines and if you want to show that they are perpendicular then you have to find the dot product and it should come to zero. And that helps us you helps us to find sometimes the value of the k as we did here i hope it makes sense feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best